Danny, two on speed today. How's your effect on performance? It's a real, real tough one to take today. I thought that once we got the equaliser, I thought there was only going to be one team going to win the game. Uh, I thought the second half we showed great impetus. We, we put them under pressure, and I thought the goal was coming, which it duly did. But then you can't, you can't defend the set piece the way we did. I and mean, when we actually, we've been very good at that so far this season. But I don't know what happened. We just seemed to switch off. Um, but look, for me, it wasn't even a foul. Kins clearly wins the ball and, and he's given a free kick and then he's allowed him to take it 10 yards higher than what it was supposed to be taken and I thought we summed up the referee's performance today. So I thought he was poor. It's not easy, you know, go and talk about referee's performances as much as much you probably do, but the referee decisions today maybe were a bit questionable for a few I think times. The fans in the stadium are not stupid. They can see when something's a deliberate handball or, or a foul or a free kick or, or someone's been at their shirt pulled. And literally, you just let Yeovil do what they wanted today. They're forward, they're forward quickly, brilliant. Just push, push, push the players in the back, just let them get on with it. Took set pieces wherever they wanted to take it. And the bare minimum, you've got to control the game. Because we're, we're talking about discipline with the players. We're talking about making sure you do the things right. And, and it's hard because you're trying to, you're trying to educate them on something that actually, I'm, I'm as frustrated as anyone with what, what I've seen out there today from, not just from the referee, but from us as well, because we should have got something out of the game. Obviously, it becomes in for young Tommy Willard. Obviously, when Tommy arrests, he'll be a chance to show what he can do. And on the whole, he did. He had moments when he sort of showed what he can do at times. Yeah, we created more problems today, which was, which was what we needed to do. We needed to look like we're going to score more goals than what we have done. And I thought we, we did today. We looked more dangerous. The only problem was they was almost tag teamed each other today because as good as we were going forward, we decided that we weren't going to defend properly, which we have done well in the last two games within reason. So. It's, yeah, it's, it's frustrating, but look, it is what it is, and we've got we've got to roll our sleeves up and get ready for the next game. Obviously, going looking back at the game as well, we find ourselves one nil down quite early on. It's a bit of a mountain to climb from there, with obviously Joe quickly for them. And the first half maybe wasn't what we were expecting. The second half, we definitely came out, and something was said definitely half time to sort of show you know we need to show these fans something that we've been. Yeah, and look, we were attacking the East Bank, and I, th and I think they did. I think they gave them they really gave them something to get behind, and that's why it's so disappointing because you get the equaliser, and you're genuinely thinking, right, okay, shut up shop here, but still let's go and get the winner, and we didn't, and and I think that's where. I don't know if it's naivety or whether it was we were tired. I, I, I think the bottom line is we, it wasn't good enough in those periods where we needed to defend properly, and we have to take that on the chin. The boys have to hold their hands up and say those those individual errors that we've had today are, have cost us. And it's, it's hard because as, as a staff, they, they were prepared properly. We knew exactly what uh, Yeovil we were going to do. We knew how they were going to do it, and in the main, we dealt with it. And but then you switch off for one minute. You can't do that. You can't do that at any level. And when people say, oh, he's a good player, why, why are they at this level? Sometimes that's why. And I think from, from our perspective, I can't fault their efforts, I can't fault the, the desire they showed because they worked their socks off. And they're an honest group, they're a really honest group. And they've, they've been honest in the dressing room about the mistakes they've made today. But that only goes so far. You've got to start putting it right and you've got to start making sure that you're putting the ball in the back of the net and keeping it out of the other end so we can get some points on the ball. Of course, the goal we did score, Corey off the score sheet for the, the league and a good cross from Toby as well. It's a good move as a whole from that. Yeah, but I thought we had a lot of that today. We had a lot of good passages of play, where we, we especially in the second half. Um, I thought we dominated a lot of the ball in the first half, but didn't really hurt them. Second half, we had a real threat. Um, we had an early chance with Jaden, who's disappointed because he should score that. He's one on one with a goalkeeper, he should score. Um, but he knows that, he's a young lad, he needs to learn that, and I'm confident if that situation arises again, he'll put the ball in the back of the net. But that's where we are, we are where we are. We've got a group of players that you almost, they've got to learn as they go along. They're not ready made, no, they're not ready made National League players, we've got to keep, keep working on them. Um, and, and, and I'm sure that as they progress, we will progress. Of course, three defeats aren't the way you want to start the season. I don't want to see it talking about it, but it's something that no, it's, really, a fact. it's important it is, to address. Yeah, it's, 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 not, it's, not, <coughs> it's not how you wanted to start the season. We, we, we weren't gifted the most nicest of fixtures for the first six, seven games, but it, we've got a plan at some point, and the lads need to learn. What we need to learn is when we've got something in the game, how to see the game out. And I thought, I thought we had the dressing room that could do that this year, but obviously that still needs work. Of course, speaking on that, obviously we'll see was introduced to this crowd today for the first time. You mentioned having a threat and the fun sides of it. It's going to be a threat going forwards. Yeah, well, we, we listen, we need reinforcements. We've got a, a, a three very good young lads, by the way. We've got three young lads on the bench today. We've got, we've got not many first-team players. 
and we've got to work to try and work the market the best we can because we need, like I've said before, we need players in, but we, we they need to be free. They need to be people that are not going to cost us any money, and that's not easy to do. And but all I can assure everyone is we're trying. We're trying as hard as we can to get players through the door. And I, I know it's obviously people have list, left disappointed today, but that kind of support today, we're going to need that week in, week out, home and away. We're going to need it, and, and I promise that. As that keeps coming, as the players get better, they'll get they'll reap the reward to them. Because Mo obviously is working with back fringe as well, and when yeah. he returns, it's like another new signing. Exactly, and we we we, we are we're bare bones at the minute, and uh, it, it's not it's not an excuse because the bottom line is the players on the pitch should have been good enough to see the game out today. But it does make it hard when you're looking around and you're trying to want to change stuff, and you're limited in how you can change the game. And of course, we go away to Notts County on Saturday. Obviously, we've got a bit of a good history there, but especially recently. But <coughs> we can do. Well, if we defend set pieces like we did at the end there, you, you're going to get hurt. And they're a very good. They're a very good side. They've invested well, and they're a massive club. And look, the boys, if you if you can't go there and get yourself up for the game, then then some of those have got problems. Are you in the shop? Sign up below. Click here for the next video and click here to subscribe.